I feel like a lot of people probably forgot how to do this, so here's a quick refresher that you'll need to know, especially for algebra. So if you're looking at this problem and you completely forgot how to solve this, don't worry, it's actually not as hard as you think. So this problem is asking us to simplify the expression, and if you notice on the top and the bottom, we have square roots on both the numerator and the denominator. So I'm going to take out whatever I can from inside the square root to the outside in order to simplify it. So in the numerator, I have a 3x squared times y cubed. Now 3 is a prime number and I can't simplify that any further, so that's going to stay inside the square root. Now the x squared and the y cubed, they both have, they are both powers. And remember, x squared is the same thing as x times x, and y cubed is the same thing as y times y times y. So I wrote it on the top here so that you guys can see it easier. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take every group of 2 and pull it out of the radical. So I have here two x's that are being multiplied by each other to make x squared. So I'll go ahead and pull an x out. And then I have here three y's, but I only have one group of two. So I'll pull a y out as well. So that means in the numerator so far, I have an x times y times the square root of three y. Now on the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and simplify again. Now 80 is not a prime number, and for this one, I can actually factor. Whenever I'm trying to factor a number that's in a square root, I want to try to factor it so that one of the numbers is a perfect square. So a factor of 80 that would have one of them be a perfect square is 4 times 20. So I have it right here, and then I can go ahead and simplify 4 even further and make it 2 and 2. And then for 20, factors of 20 will be 4 times 5. And the goal here is to factor 80 until I can no longer factor it. So I'm left here with 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 as my final factors of 80. Then I have a group of 2 here and a group of 2 here. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. And then I'll have a 5 inside still. So when I pull out the 2s, I'm going to be able to multiply them together. So 2 times 2 times the square root of 5x times y cubed. And then again with the y, I can go ahead and pull out a group of y's. So then on the bottom, I'll be left with the 4y times the square root of 5xy. And then I can go ahead and cross out the y that's on the top and the bottom. And then this will be my final simplified answer. So hopefully this helped, and let me know in the comments if you have any more questions.